Um, hi, Gemini. Happy Monday. This is your mini reading. These readings are timeless, so there's like no particular, um, yeah, it's not for a particular time. Readings are always timeless because these could be things that have, excuse me, these can be things, these could be events that and energies that could already be taken place have taken place or will be so so oh i split the deck and i got freedom for you guys gemini and then i also got pleasure nice so uh, um i'm getting a feeling a lot of you are, are learning what it is to truly be free and like and freedom comes with authenticity so a lot of you guys if you're in like um partnerships or any type of relationship dynamics um you guys are learning what it's like you guys are learning that the more you're even if it's friends never mind not just romantic even if it's friendships amongst your colleagues your parents your kids yourselves for the um and most importantly but whatever it is i feel like you guys are learning what it means to authentically be yourself and the pleasures and the satisfaction life that comes with life when you're able to just be yourself when you're able to just you know flaws and weaknesses everything like you don't have to be perfect you don't have to put on this this face with every with different friend groups or different people just to please them you're learning or you will be learning or you should be learning that you can generally be yourself and the right community will support and be there for you the right partner the right relationships, the right friends, the right type of family, your tribe, you know, the right work, the job, whatever, all those things will come to you. But those, but only the genuine, genuine and authentic things can only become aligned with us when we're genuinely and authentically being ourselves, right? And that's gonna, and our paths are always gonna be different and look different in comparison to other people. This is why we don't compare. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys could be spending some time alone or needing to so especially if you're in a relationship or you're always around people or you're a teacher of some kind um i feel like it'll be good to get some time alone um it'll be really really good to get some time alone i think it'll give you a fresh perspective on certain things um that you've kind of been having some questions on and i just think it'll just be good for your um me mental health um yeah Especially if you have a needy partner or you are a needy partner, it'll solid too. It'll be very good for the, good for you at this time. Yeah, we got wonders and we got love here. So a lot of self love, a lot of that solitude, that time alone is gonna do a lot of wonders for your self love. It's gonna allow you to pour into people, so you're not neglecting yourself. And when we neglect ourselves, we also neglect our life path. We neglect our responsibilities. We neglect things that move us forward. So then, when we become so, like, uh, when we become so focused on pouring into others, those are the people and the things and the jobs that we become so dependent on because our cups are so depleted. So that's how we. That's how codependency starts. So always make sure you're unapologetically pouring into yourself, spending time to yourself. It doesn't matter if you're married in a relationship. It doesn't matter if you're a parent. <laughs> It doesn't matter whatever it is, just make sure you are pouring into yourself always, okay? Always so that you don't become stuck and stagnant. Especially if you are always giving of service, which I feel like everybody's always giving of service in some way in this life. Even people who are selfish, even, you know, you're, it's, you never there's nothing in this life that comes to us for free if it's not physical labor it's our our souls we give away our bodies our spirits our minds something um so always keep that in mind nothing in this world is free um this is for gemini this is for gemini the first card that flew out was courage same as libra and I shuffle like really good. Um, message for Gemini. 
forgiveness, freedom. And, and for some of you, oops, sorry, I'm gonna. Um, for some of you, if you need to forgive someone or forgive yourself, that's gonna bring you a lot of freedom. That's gonna, yeah, the forgiveness and freedom card keeps popping out together. Um, and we got simplicity. I kind of want to take these. I'm going to trust my instincts and I'm just going to take them. <laughs> uh -huh. And we have simplicity, openness, flexibility, patience, going forward, action, potential. Yeah, I like these. Security, pleasure, adventures, purity. Um, okay. So I was, okay, um, yeah, because I shuffled and then these two flew out again together. Forgiveness and freedom. Look how free her arms, or he or she, I can't really tell. But look how free this person's body language is. Just like these birds, right? It's very similar. So um, Gemini's, I will say, and this is for a very selective few, if you need to forgive someone, um... Remember, a lot of times when we have a hard time forgiving others, it's because we haven't forgiven ourselves. So if you're having a hard time letting something go, forgive yourself, forgive the role, um, forgive yourself for the role that you've played in this situation, right? Um, and it can be something simple. Have the courage to call yourself out. Have the courage to hold yourself accountable. Because when you do that, you allow yourself to be free and you allow for your life to be more simple. Simplicity. You know, it's less complicated. It's less complicated that way. Um, we can't always go around blaming other people for things, right? We can't blame our spouses, our partners, our parents, our kids, um, our colleagues, our bosses, our managers, siblings, friends. You know, at some point in time, we have to take accountability for our own stuff and realize that we've taken part in it. So if there's someone that you need to forgive, um, Forgive, focus on forgiving yourself for that. And I will also say forgiveness brings a lot of freedom. When we forgive, when we let, when we forgive our parents, when we forgive ourselves or anything that has a tight grip on us, it gives us the courage to just like, you know, it just gives us that courage to take on anything that comes our way, right? It's very, forgiving is not easy. And that's why with forgiveness comes freedom. Freedom is earned, independence is earned. So, you know, when we're able to forgive others, we're able to expand, right? Um, and then I would say for a lot of you, maybe someone needs to forgive you. And then for others of you, I feel like, you know, you guys are having the courage to um, just spread your wings. Like, whether it's whatever it is that you guys just finally have the courage to do or you need the courage to do, I would say just go for it. Honestly, I would say go for it and keep things simple. You know, try to, um, when I, you know, I want to say monitor your thoughts, but I don't mean to try to control them. I would just, you know, monitor is just, it's like you're looking, it's like when you meditate, you're watching your thoughts like you're on, like a projector screen, right? And just see what comes by and monitor those thoughts. Um, but yeah, I would say, Gemini, have the courage to hold yourself accountable have the courage to um, spend time alone, to be alone, even if um, you live with people or you're committed, whatever it is, um, have the courage to get, you know, to pour into yourselves without the fear of being left behind or without the fear of um, upsetting other people, right? And, or let your partners do that. This, or let your friends and your parents or your kids, if you know, if you're on the other end where you have a tight grip on people or things, have the courage to let go and release, right? Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for you, Gemini's. I hope this helps, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.